Okay, today I wish to review my new Gerber suspension. It is a Gerber multi tool designed for general use. I believe that's a titanium nitrate coating all over the skeleton frame. It is uh, about a $28 multi-tool, so it's not too expensive. It's not very expensive at all for a multi-tool. This is the saw blade it comes with. Coarser teeth for sawing wood. I have not used this tool yet, so I cannot tell you if it is spectacular or not spectacular or anything, but I like tools that have little saws on them. You never know when you might have to just saw something out of the way. So It's got that. It's stiff. It's brand new, so it's kind of stiff. Comes with a Phillips head screwdriver. It is, looks like it will be functional. I would hate to see how hard you could torque it, because you may break it. But all of it seems to be module, so you can replace parts on it, I imagine. That is the Phillips head screwdriver. There is a flathead screwdriver, a larger flathead screwdriver. It's uh, again for um, flathead screws. Go figure, right? <laughs> Close that. Of course they're removed by these little grooves that you stick your finger in to pull them out. That's how you get them out of the knife. Here is the stainless steel blade. Now I don't know what kind of steel they use. I'll head the box doesn't seem to have any details on it that they call it stainless steel blade it is moderately sharp it seems capable right out of the box of cutting most things that you would find to cut everything does lock in place via the lock I just didn't extend it out far enough for the lock to really set in so you would pull the lock down like so it's a spring lock now for the other side. The other side has a serrated edge, just like the other blade. You remove them with a thumb tab. So that's how it comes out. It will again also lock in place. You can see the lock is on both sides of the handle. Here's the P38 bottle opener and can opener, P38 style. You see the edge that would open cans with, and the bottle opener, which is right here to open bottles with. Those work pretty good on most any multi-tool. Still going on this side. Here is a smaller flathead screwdriver. It's less wedge device. General things. It's a normal tool to find on most multi-tools. You'll find them on a lot of Swiss Army knives also. It's pretty good. You can do a lot of things with that, believe it or not. And here are the spring scissors. You can see how they're springy. I imagine they cut pretty well. It's hard to mess up a pair of scissors these days. Almost any capable tool. I'm trying my hardest not to actually extend them all the way because I don't want to try to manipulate the lock with one hand and while closing the knife. It's not as easy. You, know, you can pry it against things and close the, the, the tools in it. Now, it is, since I said it's a multi-tool, well, it's a pliers multi-tool. They're spring-loaded. You can see I want to open back up. I kind of like that feature in a lot of ways until so that spring goes out, and then you're so used to having that spring that you get annoyed with having to open your own pliers. You learn to hook your tanky in so that you can pry them back open. But anyway, comes with fine teeth, the coarse teeth, and a wire cutter. And that's about all there is to this multi-tool as far as a tool goes. This is one of the cheaper ones I found that it looks like it is the real deal. So I um, thought I would review it for you. This is the case it came with. The Gerger, the Gerber logo I actually marked out with a black sharpie. I hate big bright white logos on things. I'm actually putting this on what is my archery vest that I wear when I go 
hunting and I didn't want a big bright white color coming off that black nylon. It just, that kind of thing annoys me. I think if you're really that proud of your company, make a good product. People will know your name. You don't need to put all over the place your logo. If you're that worried that people won't be able to identify your stuff, well, buy ad time on television. That's just my two cents about that. But it is just a nylon slash Cordura sheath. It's not anything spectacular. Uh, I wish this top tab was not, you know, puffy nylon, but or that soft stuff. But they kept the Cordova, but they didn't. But that's all right. Like I said, I'm going to attach it to my archery vest, and then it will be on that. Well, thank you for watching my video. This is just, like I said, a simple review of this thing that I bought. I will let you know how it goes. If it destroys itself in action, I will certainly put that on YouTube as a review of a flawed design or craftsmanship. But I have high expectations for the limited use that I will probably use this thing for, which is just whatever I encounter that needs a tool while I'm while I'm, you know, hunting. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them. And thank you a bunch. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.